Whoa. Ooh, the aesthetics are so nice. Oh, what is... Oh, are these K-pop people? Oh, it's K-pop, huh? I love K-pop. This is K-pop. Yeah, I have no idea who the hell this is. Before I was on the show, I was requesting BTS to be on Teams React. Ooh. It's pretty artistic. Hey. Well, I like the tune. Kiss me. Snaps and sick moves. Catchy. The song's got a good flow. They're so pretty. They look so good. It's so good. There's a value button that bumped this. <laughs> Kill me gently. <laughs> Same. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh gosh. That was like super aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> Dude, I love watching K-pop music videos because they go so ham with them. Whoa, whoa. Is it like an angel of death thing? Is he kissing the statue? Oh, okay. Okay, you did that. You gotta like detach yourself from the fact that he's kissing a statue and just appreciate how hot he looks. It's I don't know, I just, I appreciate this so much. Like the choreography is so good. <gasps> oh, he's cracking, oh my God. The symbolism in that, though. I enjoyed it. It's not really my cup of tea, but I still enjoyed it. I like this video compared to the other ones I've seen, but as a whole, I don't like it. All of their videos like always impress me. Their dance moves are always on point. Like the, the whole aesthetics always on point, and they just always look so good. It's Blackpink. Okay. I, I'm not trying to be biased here, but I think I like this a little bit more now. Same, be careful around men. <laughs> yes, men are the worst. They're awful. I don't think I like this as much as I like their other ones. I'm loving the camera angles though, they did a really good job on this. It's so colorful, I've noticed this about a lot of Korean music videos. I love the color and like all the visuals that it gives you. I've never understood the inclusion of the English language in these songs. Thoroughly enjoying this one more. Now burn, baby, burn. Burn just look at the aesthetic. It's just so they're they're literally singing in a burning building. Like that's so cool. That's so cool. Really uplifting music. I should look sad now, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. I can definitely see them being one of the more popular girl bands. This is EXO. <laughs> This is a really cool set. That's so cool. Singing in English or like maybe even another language is really popular because you don't really see that that much in America. There's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Who do I focus on? I always have to admire the dancing in these videos. It's very good. The dancing is phenomenal. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. The music definitely sounds different. Now one, two, three. Hey, that's funky. Pretty catchy, I like it. Oh dang, EXO, oh! I hear people talking about this all the time. That group is probably the best out of the ones I've seen, like, ever. I've never really, like, taken the time to, like, listen to any of this, but I've liked them all so far. I actually would probably look into it now, before I really had no interest in it. Okay, so before we start talking about these artists, the K-pop fandom seems to be very split about K-pop React videos, even though FBE's been making them for almost five years. Many think YouTubers only do it for views and that non-fans watching just say uninformed things. 
and when big channels cover K-pop, it brings K-pop 2 into the mainstream. So what do you think about that criticism? Like I said in the last K-pop video, their fan base is really, really intense. From a fan perspective, maybe you don't want them to be all like, just everyone knows about them and you're not the only one that knows about them. People who do react videos to things, the reason isn't necessarily to be mainstream and jump on the bad wagon, it's to show like people's reaction to things if they may not even know these bands. People are gonna say uninformed things on everything and you just kinda gotta live with it and just, you know, let the press happen because the more attention you get, the better it's gonna go. On the flip side, others have said they became big K-pop fans because of our shows or other channels' videos and say it helps make these bands more popular to get global audiences. What do you think hearing that? I think it's really good because some people, they don't really know that much about like Korean music artists. I just like being able to learn more about different cultures. So I see this as a very positive thing. People who click on this video are gonna go watch that video if they like it or they laugh or interested. Just because, you know, people become exposed to it through this or something like that, that doesn't make them any less of a fan. You gotta be exposed to it somewhere at some point. YouTubers um, making videos about K-pop really helps more people get into the fandom. And then later, they'll go deeper in, but it just helps them as an introduction. That was me. Um, I think I saw a big bang on like the first YouTubers react. Okay, so let's talk about the bands. The first video we showed you was for the song Blood, Sweat, and Tears by the group BTS. Okay, I figured the title had something to do with blood, sweat, and tears. Their fans really have been requesting for us to show you this as the video broke records for the most views in 24 hours by a K-pop group and most sales in a week for a K-pop album and the highest ranking album on the Billboard Top 200. Holy crap, that's a really impressive. That, that just kind of blows everything out of the water. They have so many views right now, I'm so proud of that. The band also wrote and co-produced their latest album as well as dove into many social issues. Well. I wasn't the biggest fan of the song, but I do highly respect the fact that they wrote their own music and produced it. I feel like a lot of people don't do that in like working in the pop music uh, industry. What do you think about how they are as big, if not bigger, than groups you know here in America? Oh, I think that that's fantastic. The talent and like the quality of everything is just so good that like everyone in the entire world likes it, and that's super impressive. It just shows that it doesn't really matter anymore where you're, where you come from. You can still break the billboards anywhere. The fact that they're like going above and beyond even like American, you know, musicians in the US. That's like fantastic. That's amazing. I'm so, I'm so proud of them. The next video we showed you was from the girl group Blackpink called Playing With Fire. They just dropped their first album and already have become one of the biggest acts in K-pop with their first two singles topping the Korean and US world charts. What about them do you think made them so popular so quickly? You know, they're a girl group. <laughs> That's why. They stand out. They're like literally too immaculate. It was, you know, like the poppy girl stuff, but it was also just like, it was good. Like it was fun to listen to. I can see how it can really reach an audience. So our last video was for Hey Mama by XOCBX, a subgroup of the main group EXO, who we covered on Teens React in the past. Yeah, I love them, they're cool. What do you think about the fact that these groups are so big that they're releasing music as smaller groups within the band, but the band as a whole is still together? That is really weird. I feel like I would almost be like offended, like if I was part of that group and I wasn't part of the little group. <laughs> I think it's nice because that way, like if individual members have like different preferences and they have like different tastes, they can express them more. It may have a mixture to do with like business saying that, hey, what if there's a, we notice that there's a small following for these guys and if we break them off and give them their own music, we can make, they'll become more popular and we'll make more money. In America, you never hear that. It's either like One Direction or One Direction breaking up. There's never been like a giant group as big as them who like just go into like little subgroups. After seeing and talking about K-pop, is this a genre you could find yourself not just listening to, but wanting to understand more? I would enjoy understanding them but I'm not necessarily sure I want to join like a fandom. I don't know if I would like watch it religiously, but I think, you know, I would check it out to see what it's about. Personally, I don't like K-pop, it's not my style of music. I don't have anything against it. It's something that that I could listen to, but I don't I don't think I would like listen to it a lot. I'm definitely an army hands down. I um I like Twice. I like Red Velvet. I loved Russian Roulette. That was such a good song. I like EXO still. And I like um, BTS, obviously. I feel like I'm gonna end up joining one of the really big fan bases and becoming a total fangirl. K-pop just seems like such an interesting fandom to be a part of. Knowing that, I don't know, people like from like across the world can communicate with each other because of these like 
bands. It's just, it's super cool to me. Thanks for watching this episode of Teens React. If you want to see more, subscribe. We have new content every week. Let us know in the comments what K-pop artists you want to see us react to next. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Hey, everyone. It's Dallin here from FBE. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Teens React. We know when we do K-pop, it can get a little controversial, but we really love the music here, and we just want more of you to check it out. Appreciate all the feedback.